Cole Banker, Deer and Hopper Realtors. Once again, I'm at the beautiful one acre lot community of Bell Oaks in Bovarde, Texas. And I came out here today because, well, I was helping someone else buy a lot, which the developers are gone. So if you want to buy a lot out of Bell Oaks, you do have to use a realtor. But uh, yeah, while I'm out here, I might as well do a new construction follow up tour for my clients that are getting a Grand Endeavor home built in this community. This is the Jolie plan. So yeah, let's go take a look. I like how this house is coming along, and I really do like this community. It is located at the corner of uh, 46 and Blanco, so it does give you easy access. Well, it's a beautiful motorcycle. Um, easy access to like the Stone Oak area. So we have a lot of people that work in the medical career field that don't want to be dealing with the hustle and bustle of Stone Oak. So it's just a uh, 10 to 15 minute drive depending on traffic coming up Blanco to get to this wonderful quiet community of Bell Oaks. All the lots in here are going to be at least one acre. Good schools. You are about a 12 to 15 minute drive to Bernie and maybe a 25 minute drive to New Braunfels. You're kind of right in the middle. So yeah, get the best of both worlds. But the big thing is, man, is this community quiet. All right, this house, oh, let me go and show you. They are, this whole community is on septic. Do not let that freak you out. Septic's really quite easy to maintain. But I want to show my clients what their septic system looks like as of 12 March, 2023. The different systems that they have in here. So, yep, that is what your septic system looks like during the construction process. And you see the purple hose, that's going to be your water, your spray off area, kind of gray water. Uh, just don't let, and well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not potable, but there will be a spray off section in the backyard somewhere and help kind of fertilize the grass a little bit. Anyways, let's head on side this beautiful home built by Grand Endeavor of this um, my client definitely put a lot of upgrades in this house and it is turning out wonderfully love this big double doors that they put in weird when I came up there was a dog in here and I don't know why the doors were open but uh, yeah I chased it out and the, the dog didn't do any damage don't worry but tall ceilings the tall ceilings are an upgrade, but man, I definitely recommend it. If it's only a couple, like $6,000 more to go up, man, it really changes the look of a house. Anyways, you have an office right up front. You can tell they're doing some uh, sheetrock work, a lot of plastic up right now, or some painting. I think they were doing this painting of the ceilings, maybe. I don't know, I'm not a construction person, but lo lots of space in this great area. Let's go ahead and head back here and we'll look at the secondary rooms and then we'll work our way back this direction. So we've got a good sized room, bedroom number three. Tall ceilings. It's gonna have its own private sink. And then sharing, that's gonna be the toilet and bathtub with this bedroom which is gonna have its own private sink as well. Oh, it looks like they were, might've been painting these. But then we got bedroom four, kind of going a little bit out of order, but that's okay. We'll look about what the, the neighbors, looks like they recently had their lot cleared. I mean, it really kind of opens things up a little bit. Last time I did a video tour of this lot, that house, they hadn't uh, cleared out the cedars yet. Those are the two bedrooms on this side. Let's head back this way. All right, this is the master bedroom. I typically like to end with this, but hey, let's go ahead and knock it out. Lots of light, tray ceilings. Yes, they do have a pool being built at the same time. But let's look at this bathroom. And this is going to be so nice. Really big bathroom, dual vanities, and this shower is going to be impressive. Do a little car wash type shower with a bench. You can see the insulation back there. 
got the uh, it's like dual heads going, maybe. Or that could be a knob. I don't know. They're a little off centered. So I don't know what's going on here. But uh, that looks like the main thing. I don't know. We'll see how it comes along. All right. Got your water closet. And then let's look at the size of this master bedroom closet. Sorry, there's no uh, lights just yet. No shelves or trim because uh, my client um, reached out to me and I got someone who does a lot of trim work or custom furniture type things. So he's, I need to hear, get back to them, find out if they are gonna use a, a friend of mine, military friend of mine that's now does wonderful woodwork. He did the woodwork on my personal staircase in my residence. But yeah, let's look at the backyard. Big, big patio area, lots of cover. Uh, big sliding doors. These all do open up. They got some plastic on it, so I'm not going to open up this time. But, oh, it is a beautiful day today. Where are we? 82 degrees uh, on 12 March 2023. Cool. Yeah, that looks a little gross right now, but that's temporary. But yeah, beautiful lots out here. And lots of lots of oak trees. They're all got trees blooming right now because it's springtime in Texas. All right, we came out that door. Let's go in the other one. All right, this is going to be the dining room section here see they've got some shelves going up big window looking really nice and then of course the kitchen this is going to be a really big island once all said and done refrigerator that's going to look really nice once it's all done and your cooktop is going to go there all right, let's head back into the garage. Where this is gonna have a oversized three car garage. Once again, Grand Endeavor still finishes out the garage as well. So they're gonna have the baseboards and uh, sheetrock, tall ceilings, everything's coming along. Plum for water, heat softener. And you come in and here's the pantry. That's a really good sized pantry. And then back to this side is going to be the laundry room. So we're going to have a couple of shelves, plenty of space. Oh, it looks like they're going to have a refrigerator, backup fridge, and then washer and dryer. And like they put a little note saying, hey, you need to move over two inches. Nice. All right, let's head back to this one last room. Like I said, just the view from the sink eventually. I got the TV set up with some uh, built-in shelving. And uh, like I said, they've been doing some painting. So this is the cabinets that's getting painted. They're setting up drying right now. Gonna be some nice rustic looking brown. Same brown that you see here. So that's why we've got the plastic up everywhere. Little linen closet. And now here we come into the game room section. Obviously they've been painting cabinets, so uh, we're not gonna go all through there, but the, it's gonna be a really cool game room. They're putting a wet bar back in the corner and then another access point to go out to the pool. And looks like they're getting some built-ins for speakers. Oh man, this can be so nice. And they're putting enough speakers in here to do the full Adobe Atmos system. This other bedroom, kind of tucked back to the side. With its own bathroom. So, hopefully I can see in there, but yeah, it's gonna have a mud inset shower in this bedroom. So perfect for, if you got guests coming to town and uh, they can be on their side of the house with a bathroom that's kind of still open to the game room as well, but still essentially a private bathroom compared to 
the other side of the house. Four of this uh, Grand Endeavor home, the Jolie plan, being built by Grand Endeavor in the beautiful community of Bell Oaks. If you've been watching my video and looking for lots, like I said, I was out here helping someone else buy a lot. There's a lot of lots available right now in Bell Oaks, and you need to use a realtor to get those now because the developer's gone. So I'm happy to help you with that if you're interested in living in this beautiful community. So uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.